Layback. Layback is used to determine the position of a toe fish. This movie shows how to set up layback in PDS. To simple set up layback in PDS. Add the reference point to calculate the layback from. Add the devices to measure the layback or add the manual input layback device to set the layback manually. Set the device properties. Set the toad object computation properties. Set the position source of the side scan sonar computation properties to toad object. Let's see how we do this in PDS. First at the layback reference offset point. Open the configuration. Open the vessel configuration. Add the layback offset point in the offset list of the geometry page. Press the Add button. And set the offset with reference to the vessel zero offset point. In this example we have defined the layback offset point on the aft of the vessel. The layback will be referenced to this point. Next step is to add the devices used to measure the layback. It is possible to select in PDS different modes to compute the layback. Manual. From device. Manual wire length and manual depth relative to the surface. From a device. Wire length and depth relative to surface. First take a look to the manual modes. The most easy method is manually entering the horizontal layback value. Let do the most simple, using a manual horizontal layback. Open from the vessel configuration the equipment page. Open the cable length meter device group. Add the manual input layback device. The manual input layback device is added and automatically the toad object computation. Open the toad object computation. Set the reference point offset. We set here, our earlier, defined point, on the aft of the vessel. Do not change the layback mode here. Leave it at, from device, mode. Open the, side scan sonar computation properties. Set the, position source. To the, toad object computation, of the manual input layback device. We close the configuration. When we open the real-time acquisition. In the Edit menu, we can set the layback manually. Select Manual Input. Select the Manual Input Layback Device data. Set the layback value. In this example it was set to 10 meters. This is seen in the plan view. A layback of 10 meters. The values are also shown in the raw data view. We see our toad object point coordinates. This is the chosen layback reference point. In our case the aft of the vessel. And the toe point coordinates. In our case the side scan sonar position. Calculated with the layback value of 10 meter. Now look to the three other layback modes. From device. Manual wire length and depth and from device wire length and depth in manual wire length and depth mode the user enter manually the wire length and depth of the tow fish to compute the layback in from device wire length and depth mode a device measures the wire length and depth to compute the layback with the from device method is the layback measured by a device add for these three layback modes a toad object computation from the advanced computations. Let's see how to do this. Open the configuration. Open the vessel configuration. Open the computations page. Press the advanced button to open the advanced computations. Scroll down in the list. Select the toad object computation and press the add button. Enter a name and press OK. The toad object properties opens. Select the reference point for the layback. In our example the earlier defined layback offset point, which was the aft of the vessel. 
select the layback mode. Here we select our mode, from device mode, manual wire length, and depth mode, or from device wire length, and depth mode. When manual wire length and depth is selected as the layback mode, then enter manually the wire length value, and enter manually the depth of the sonar. But, when instead a device is used to measure the wire length or depth, we select as layback mode, from device wire length and depth. Now, select the device measuring the wire length in the layback source attribute. And select the device measuring the depth of the sonar at the sea level attribute. Before you can select these devices, they should of course be added first to the equipment list of the vessel configuration. So if we look to the equipment list. Then a wire length and a depth device were already added to the equipment list. In this example we added a manual depth device and a manual wire length device. The wire length devices are listed in the cable length meter device group. The depth sensor devices are listed in the depth sensor device group. Do not forget to set the correct data source in the side scan sonar properties. Open the side scan sonar properties. Select the position source attribute and set the position source to the toad object user computation. In real time we see our layback again. In this example we added manual input device drivers. This means we can from the edit menu, manual input item, set our cable length. Or from the tool menu, equipment control item, set manually the depth of the sonar. But this depends of the device drivers added to the equipment list. So what we have seen in this movie. Define a layback reference offset point. This is normally the aft of the vessel. This point is later selected in the toad object computation properties. Add the devices to the equipment list to measure the layback. This can be cable length meters and depth meters. It is possible to select manual input devices or alternatively use the manual input layback device to enter manually the horizontal layback. Add a toad object advanced computation if not the manual input layback device driver is used. Set the toad object computation properties. Set the position source of the side scan sonar computation properties to the toad object computation. Control your layback in Teledyne PDS.